some of you of an older generation, might remember the musical Godspell. And then there was one of the songs within the musical, and the people sang and chanted, When wilt thou save the people? O God of mercy, when? They reflected not only the issues and the trials of the generation some 2,000 years ago and before, but also the trials and the tribulation of our own day and time. But God heard that prayer and that request, asking him to save the people, to save them and to save us from the tyranny of sin. And then God, in his mercy and his love, sent his only begotten son into this world to come as an innocent child, so that child might mature and come to full growth and overcome and conquer not only sin and death, but inequality and injustice in the world. Christ was born some 2,000 years ago, and yet our world still lives in its darkness and often follows the wrong path and the wrong way. But the image of Christ who is born is given to us and to all the world. It's given to each individual, to every person. For he came to restore all of creation in the totality of God's world. He came to reunite us with the Father. He came to open the doors of paradise which had been closed. He came to abolish sin, to conquer death, and to give us eternal life. That innocent child, the Christ child, was born in the city of David. There was no room in the inn for him, and he was rejected in time by men. But that child brought salvation and continues to bring salvation to anyone who calls upon his name and asks for forgiveness from God and accepts Christ as his or her personal Savior, to accept Christ as Lord and God. On this day, our churches and our homes, and hopefully the hearts of people, are filled with joy in proclaiming the joyous news that Christ is born and we're called to glorify him. We join the angels in singing God's praises and we kneel before him just as the wise men did and as did the shepherds some 2,000 years ago. We welcome Christ into our midst and into our world, but more importantly, we invite him into our hearts. We ask him to come abide in us and to dwell in us and to remain with us forever. Christmas is not about trees and bulbs and lights, not gifts and presents. It's not about carols and songs. It's not about department stores and decorated areas. It's not about poinsettia plants. It's about Christ. It's about the Savior who came into the world. It's about people, how God so loved us that he gave us his son to abolish sin. It's about people in our relationships, with one another and with Christ and with God. It's about people who say to one another, not only happy holidays, but confess that Christ is born and Merry Christmas. It's about people who come to church and sing God's praises and receive of the body and the blood of the Savior and proclaim his joyous message into the world. It's not necessary to proclaim Christ born in this church it's necessary to proclaim him and to live him in the hills and the valleys and the streets and in the communities. Because if the world needs anything now, it is Jesus Christ and his truth and his mercy and his love. But he will abide in the hearts of those who come to know him. And we are responsible for giving him and his truth to all people.
Christ welcomes you into the mercy and to the love of a simple stable. He says, come and see my humility. See where I am born and learn from me. I need not gifts from wise men. I need the simple hearts of the shepherd and the faithful will come. Come and learn to sing the praises to God and kneel beside a manger along with Joseph and Mary. He says, above all, though, give me your heart and know that I am your God. I pray that on this day and every day, we will all confess Jesus Christ, our Lord and God and Savior. And may his truth and his mercy, his love and the joy that he's brought into the world, fill your heart. Let it fill your home. Let it spread and fill the world and bring joy to the world for the Savior is born. Bring happiness and bring hope into this world because of Jesus Christ and the glory and the love and the mercy that he's brought us. Sing Handel's Messiah and say hallelujah for he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And his kingdom has become the kingdom of this earth. And let his kingdom abide in our hearts, in the hearts of all people. Amen.